Uh, quickest live ever. This is gonna be the quickest live ever. I just wanted to come in here real quick and, and uh, just just let people know, man, if, if you don't have, I know this ain't important to some folks. Okay, it, it may not be important to you. You may not know anything about small engines or car engines or anything like that. So I'm just talking to the, I guess I'm just talking to the people that it really count and it really matter and the people that really understand. Hey, my Renaissance grandma, can you hear me? If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. If you can hear me and see me, give me two thumbs up. Hey, soul sister. Hey, uh, uh, Carrie Robinson. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hey, uh, darkness. How you doing? Uh, Ina Stanley. Uh, who is that? How y'all doing? Good. How y'all doing tonight? Hey, her, uh, ooh, this chat is moving fast. Thank you. Nubia Six, uh, Sandra Brown. Listen, I, I'm, I'm just going to get right into it because I don't want to have y'all here all night. I really want to, listen, I just rebuilt this, this carburetor on, on my tiller so I can take my garden to the other level here and other places. Thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up on the, on the microphone check. Thank you. Listen, I don't know if you if you interested or not. I'm trying to say this without sounding so conspiracy theorish. Yo, if the world is changing and it ain't it, we have no control over it right now. Do I have any tips to grow your struggling figs? I don't know what you did to them. I don't know what kind of figs you got. I don't know what's going on. So I don't know how to help you if I don't know what you did, what you didn't do, okay? We talking about this engine right now and for the people that it, it matter to. If you a homesteader, if you not, if you know what, forget all of that. Even if... If you see trying times right now, I'm trying to say something as universal as I possibly can. If you see trying times right now, you understand what I'm talking about. Now me, I'm rebuilding this carburetor. And I kid you not, I just made a gasket like I used to do when I was a kid, when I was in my younger days rather, and just get a bicycle inner tube and make my own gaskets. We used to make our own gaskets for our cars my father used to make them out of cardboard and stuff like that i'm just letting y'all know electricity whether you like it or not solar whether you like it or not it's not about to be an option anymore gasoline i listen i love gasoline like everybody else i'm not gonna lie you know I've had my back and forth about it, but I think right now, unfortunately, gas is just as reliable as solar. And I love solar. And, and they're both a great commodity, but it, let's, let's be realistic. The, the technology hasn't advanced far enough. I'm not, I'm not against electric cars. I'm not taking it down no weird path here, okay? I'm not against electric cars. I'm just saying the technology ain't there yet. It ain't 100% there. You understand what I'm saying? You know, back in the day when the light bulb was invented, when the light bulb was invented, the technology still was not there. You get what I'm saying? There was no... Uh, fiber optic lines and electrical lines from, from east coast to west coast, south to the north there. So it was all, it had to build up. They had to build that, that electrical infrastructure for it to be just hit a switch anywhere you go. That's what I'm saying. I'm not against electric cars. I'm not against solar generators or so. So I'm not going down that route. I'm just saying for you to solely depend on one versus the other, you might be in some trouble. You need solar as much as you need gas. You need to keep both on hand at all times. With that being said, 
I'm going to touch on a subject that's going to touch everybody. And I know a lot of people like, I don't know nothing about no engine, so I don't, I don't, I don't care. Uh, what'd you say? Break it down, make it plain. That's the only way I know how, because people be wanting to, people be wanting to jump on teams on one side or another. This ain't about a team. This is about if you don't if you don't learn how to change you screw if you don't know if you don't have a skill set you screw whether you whether you want to be or not hey super farm whether you want to be or not it's a lot of people that's purchasing land i want to talk on that real quick it's a lot of people purchasing land with no tools I've seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've watched, I watched people, not just in this community, but in other communities. People are buying homesteads of acreages, acreage, raw land with no tools whatsoever. And I'm not talking about a tractor. I'm talking about everyday average wrench, a hammer, a damn some a bucket of nails. And people buy this land and they don't they don't know where to begin. They bought the land and all it is is a big, beautiful grassland or, or wooded area. That it, uh uh It's a lot. Y'all see folks too and can't swing a hammer to save their life. They talk about I'm building my own cabin and all this. Mm -mm. Here's a here's one for you right now. I, I'm I'm just gonna show you this real quick. Here's my tiller from from the, my land, right? All of your tools that you have around your house around your homestead, around your garden, you, you need to understand the truth is you need tools to fix your tools. You just ain't going to buy a tool and not know how to fix it. Whether you want to or not, if you buy a solar generator, just don't just rely on that. You better do more research besides seeing how many watt hours it is on how to fix it if it goes sour. Um, if, if you don't... Say, I, I'm, I'm going to build an off-grid house from basic survival skills and basic tools. You said you are going to, right? That's what you said. You're going to, you haven't done it yet. Uh, darkness. You said you're going to, but you haven't done it yet. Not yet. Okay. That's that's the part. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's a beautiful pipe dream. It's a beautiful dream. It's beautiful. Build your own cabin by your hands, your own sweat and blood and tears and build it from ground up in this economy with the money that's being made today and how much lumber costs, how much nails and screws costs, how much plumbing and, and PVC costs and all of that. I'm not trying to discourage you. What I'm trying to do is put you into a, a reality Um. I'm trying to put you into a reality mindset. It's a lot of people out here with just purchased land. They got a lot of homes and they got a lot of stuff. And, and they, they everybody is finding out very slowly that, yo, okay, now you got it. What I say before, now that you got the land, now what? What's your next move? Because it's, it's thicker than that. It's thicker than that. I'm telling you. You got a tiller. 
and you want to till your garden, you want to till your land, you just, okay, just like the Bible, right? You want to get your land together, get your garden together before you build your house. If you don't know how to break this thing down, I've been doing this since I was a little kid. And I was just sitting here thinking to myself, I've been to six to seven stores today. I've been to six or seven or probably more stores today. Nobody has a basic, find the budget, get the tools and uh, other necessities for off-grid survival. That sounds beautiful. Um, everybody know you could find, you could find one of these gaskets anywhere. About 10 years ago, you could find a, a rubber gasket anywhere. You could find a rubber gasket at Big Lots because they just had them random. You just had rubber gaskets and different kinds of, you know what they used to also have? They used to also have a, um, they used to have a, uh, a roll of paper. It wasn't paper. It was a roll of, of rubber where you could cut out your, how many people remember that? They had a roll of rubber that you could you could trace out and cut out your own gaskets for your car, your truck, your small engine. You could make it and specialize it however you wanted it. They don't even have that anymore. And I looked online and I seen the paper gasket. They only sell it in industrial rolls and it's $250 or $289 a roll. Where this was stuff you could just run down to the auto zone or, or, or pet boys and grab real quick for two dollars, five dollars tops. Me and my brother and my father, we used to all share the same rolls because all you need is this much, but you got a big old roll of this stuff. It's gone. Ain't no such thing anymore. I've been to lawnmower shops. I've been to big box stores. I've been to the orange one. I've been to the blue one. And I've been to the one I can't stand. Nobody got nothing. Nothing. So I'm sitting here like, I know, I know good and well, I'm not about to have to go back. I'm listening. I'm 50. I'm over 50 years old. I'm not about to go back to resorting to my old ways. I know. Yeah, I, I know they got it on Amazon. It's $250 or $280. So here's my lawnmower. I just uh, refreshed that carburetor. I got to refresh the carburetor on my lawn tractor here. I got a lawn tractor somewhere else. I got to go refresh that one. And I got a mulcher that I ain't started in about five years. I got, I'm, I'm scared of that one. Um. So, yeah, uh, if you don't know how to do some of this stuff and you're talking about purchasing land, you, you really, really need to start asking people, how does this work? How do you do it? It's, it's actually super easy. It really is super easy. When you have the parts, breaking down a carburetor, old school carburetor is easy. You know, um, when you start dealing with fuel injection, fuel injection and computers and chips, that's, that's when stuff gets stupid. Um, that's a good one, Arthur. So listen, like I said, I didn't want to keep y'all. I just wanted to make sure because I'm running into this light. I did a short today light. I left my house. Hey, I'm biased. I left my house today and I told my wife, hey, babe, I'll be right back. I'm about to go run and grab me a pocket full of these doggone gaskets so I can get this garden tilted up. My garden over here, I decided I'm not going to do nothing out here no more. I'm going to keep it tight, close to the house. And I got this space right here but that I'm about to till up. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing because my tiller tripping. And I cleaned out all the jets and everything today and broke it all you see it's off i broke it down down and i'm just i'm kind of like tripping i i told oh i went to um 
in the big orange box store, I went into the tool rental place just to see if they had something like that. I, Lord is my witness. I showed, I showed it. This is the, this is the fuel bowl right here. I showed this to this kid. He said, what's that? I said, it's the fuel bowl that goes on the carburetor. He said, a what? The dude older than me look over his glasses at the young dude say, it's a fuel bowl. Look it up. It's on, it's on page such and such and such. He said, how do you spell that? What is it? What does it do? I said, son, never mind. Son, never mind. The older dude said, man, I'll take care of it. No, nah, man. No, nope. it's I'm good. Y'all shouldn't have to look up nothing on no computer and y'all work in a tool rental place. You should be like, man, over there on aisle two. I got a, I got about four left. It's nothing else to talk about. I don't understand. You don't need to pull some of this up on no computer. So I can't. I, I, I just, I'd rather go home and make one, man. Sit around the damn kitchen table and cut one out like, a, like I'm doing a damn uh, uh, arts and craft project. This is some, man. All I know is. And I, again, I ain't doing the whole scary thing, but I, I left the house. I mean, I left that store. I have never, ever wanted to go back in time. Let me tell y'all something. I've never in my life said, oh, wish I was 12 again. Wish I was 16 again. I'm not that kind of dude. I had a wonderful childhood. I do not want to go back in time. You know, I've never been like, oh, man, if I could just be 12 again or 13. I, I, and I had a great childhood. I don't want to go back. But today, today was the first time that I said, and I said this to that older dude behind the cat counter that was helping that young dude try to find, help me. He helping him help me. I said, man, I just want to go back to 1985, man. <laughs> I need to get back to nine. Where is where is Doc and Marty McFly in a DeLorean, man? Open, let make you need to put some uh, some rear seats in there, bro. Put some rear seats in the DeLorean, cause I take me back with you. Drop me off at the clock tower, cause this is some bullshit. Everything is changing faster than you can get used to it. You buy a cell phone, and then the next cell phone come out tomorrow. It, man, I'm just, I'm just, I feel like, and I know I'm tripping, but I, I feel like, like I didn't do my homework all semester. And now it's time that the teacher got to put in the grades. And I, I'm still trying to catch up. I just can't catch up because every day I'm trying to knock out one assignment, she add on two more. I just feel like, man, just give me my F. <laughs> just give me my F because, damn, I, everything keep moving faster and faster. And you know what? It ain't my age. It ain't my age because the young kids can't even keep up with you can't keep up with the new dances you can't keep up with the new styles let me let me I'm a, I'm a, I'm a touch on this and then I'm gonna jump off of it I was out yesterday <laughs> this is funny but it's sad at the same time I was out yesterday and I had on a fanny pack Come on, give it to me. I had on a fanny pack. I carries one from time to time. And yes, I rock my fanny pack. People at people at survival camp seen me with it. I had it, matter of fact, when I was doing my walking around, practicing with my bag on. Y'all seen it while I was live. I had a I had a fanny pack. And these two young girls started laughing at me. And I, I called it a fupa pouch. <laughs> Fanny pack, fupa pouch, whatever you want to call it. And two of your little young girls start laughing. And I heard them. I heard what they said. Like, 
No, he don't got a fanny pack, right? And I know I'm an old man. I can kind of get away with it a little bit. But I thought about something. I start smiling while I'm ringing myself up in this new world. I'm ringing my own groceries up in this new world. And I just, I'm just smiling. I'm, I'm thinking about something. I'm thinking this. Since I've been in this store, I've seen about five to six young men with purses on. Listen now, now come on, all right? To each his own, I'm just going down this alley. I got on, I got on a fanny pack with that Glockweiler in it and, and, and plenty money and cards, okay? I, I got on a fanny pack and jogging pants. These dudes just walked back there. Now, they supposed to be thugged out, but they got on tight pants, short socks, pink Crocs, and what they call on Seinfeld. Remember on Seinfeld, they call it a European carry-all, a man bag. Man, these dudes got on real purses, man. But them dudes, look, they got on tight shirts, like like that interviewer dude that interviewed Cat Williams. They got on tight clothes like that. And they got on shoes. And I don't know what these shoes is called. That What's the rapper? Uh, uh, I don't know his name. The rapper invented them. And he had a, a big blow up with the company. He was, God, what's his name? Kanye. Listen to me. These young boys had on tight clothes. They were sagging the tight clothes. So they, they drawers was out. And they had on short socks. And they had on shoes that looked like marshmallows. I can't make this shit up. These dudes got on shoes that look like marshmallows. And I think these shoes are supposed to be super expensive. Y'all know what I'm talking about? It looked like it looked like somebody dropped a bag of marshmallows in the campfire and then said, I get it, and stuck their foot in it and pulled it out. Tight pants, marshmallow shoes, braids, and and they I don't know what they call them now, the thug bag, the the, the thugged out bag, the, the man purse they call it. It's a purse, bruh. Them dudes, these young girls think it's fine. They think they think them the ones, them the ones that you you want to go. Marry your go lay up with. That's the one you want right there. But then, now I'm just not making this up. Y'all know y'all ain't living the same world I live in. But then, but then they be surprised when they come home early from work and he in the room with your brother. They in the they in the bedroom scrambling each other like like a like some eggs and. You you bust in the bedroom, they scrambling around all oily and whatnot, and you surprised? You surprised that he's scrambling around in the bed with your brother or, or your your uncle and you met him with a purse on and some marshmallow shoes. To each his own. I'm not knocking nobody. I'm talking about let's be for real. Why is we acting like up is down and down is up, man. I, I don't know what world I live in. I got on a fanny pack and I'm getting cracked on. I got on some, I got on a fanny pack, some work boots, and some jogging pants, you know, and a hoodie. And I just seen these little boys. I th I think. I don't know what you want to call folks these days. I don't know if they went down that way or not. I done seen some dudes that's throwing up gang signs wearing purses. I seen one. I, it's a purse, man. I don't care what you carrying in it. I don't care what you carrying in it. It's a purse. And I, I just wanted to touch on that because I'm in, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I I literally truly feel like I got off the wrong stop, off the bus. 
I don't, I just don't understand. And everybody probably going to be like, oh, but the, you can't justify men clothes, women clothes. I'm not saying none of that. And I'm not choosing that. I'm not going down that alley. I'm just saying how, here's, here's my point. How is a fanny pack funny on a man and a purse ain't? How did a purse turn cool and hardcore to wear and stylish to wear, but a fanny pack is cracked on? Now I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going to put this point out there, and I'm going to say this, okay? Now listen to me. When fanny packs first came out, when fanny packs first came out, right? I had one and I didn't have to explain to nobody my orientation why I had this. I didn't have to explain to people my orientation because I got on a fanny pack. When you see one of these young dudes with these with these European carry-offs, you, you raise an eyebrow at them like, I don't know. He got on marshmallow shoes and tight pants and his drawers is showing. And I'm not sure what I should say. To, I, it, it questions you. It makes you have to question and dance around your words and your verbiage. You, you, be, you don't want to say he when he want to be called her. Or, so you be careful. You be careful. When I was young and I had a fanny pack, ain't nobody had no questions whatsoever. They ain't had to think about it. Guess what? To this day, I got on a fanny pack and the only thing it is is funny. This old man got on a fanny pack. Come here. What you doing? What you doing? Old man got on a fanny pack. Didn't have, didn't make you question my orientation though. Didn't make you question my orientation. It's just kind of out of out of style, outdated. That's all. Look here, man. If you, I'm just to each his own, right? To each his own. I mean it. I'm not. I'm not knocking nobody. If that, you know what I'm saying. It. Listen to me. I look at it like this. Some people like sugar on their grits. <laughs> okay. I'm not knocking nobody. That's up to you. I'm not going to sit around you, though, while you pour no sugar on your grits. But that's up to you. I'm not knocking you because you like sugar on your grits. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> all I'm saying that people take it offensive. Like, so what you saying, Led? You, you don't like that ain't none of my business. It ain't about what I like. It's what you like. <laughs> okay. It's what you like. I don't like no sugar on my grits. <laughs> okay? And some people do. I'm just saying this world is so backwards, man. And we don't got the things we need or the knowledge that we need to move forward. I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. Technology is moving so fast. All of this whole world, the, the trends, the way things go, the things we say, the things we do, the things we keep making okay, is moving so fast, we all getting left behind. People don't even see it, man. This is all this is about small engines, but it all is relatable. It's all relatable. We getting left behind in knowledge. This happened before. This happened before. They didn't want us to read for a reason. Think about this. I just want you to think like, because I, I can't stop thinking lately. They did not want us to read and write for a reason. You know what it is and I know what it is. Knowledge is power. Power overcomes, correct? 
The easiest opponent to fight is a dumb one. The easiest opponent to beat is one with zero knowledge of what he getting himself into. When that one war broke out back in the 60s, they didn't have the tech. Not, listen to me. They'll, those people in that jungle didn't have the technology that we had here in the States, but they still put a whooping on our ass. You know why? They were knowledgeable of their surroundings. guerrilla warfare they were knowledgeable of their surroundings they took out more people with bamboo than we did with bullets so my point is without knowledge we're screwed so instead of saying you the law is you can't write the law is you can't read you're not allowed to read you're not allowed to write Instead of doing it that way, because see, they did that a long time ago, and they can't go back on it without looking bad. No. If they keep changing the rules and changing the technology every day, and you don't take two seconds to try to figure out how to read this new technology, how to function with these new computers, how to function with this new software. You know what? I was watching Big Rooster. How many people know Big Rooster? Anybody know Big Rooster in here? Unbiased, I know you do. Everybody, anybody know Big Rooster Channel? My brother, Big Rooster. My brother builds computers. He's a DJ. He's a lot of things. But I was watching him on one of his lives, and he was trying to get people to, he was, I heard him saying, man, it's easy. All you got to do now to mo a lot of us sound like he was speaking another language, right? All you got to do is had the terabytes and the terabits and the tippy taps. And, and I was like, even I start writing stuff down like, okay, whatever you say, big rooster. Cause I don't know what you're saying, sir. I'm going to have to, you know, I had to say it in my phone, translate what he's saying. Cause it was another language to me. But what he was dropping and I heard everybody in his chat like, I don't know what you talking about, Big Rooster. And he, every time I see Big Rooster in somebody's chat and he explain the computers, everybody looking at him like this, like <laughs> they be looking like. And Big Rooster say, you know what I'm saying? And they be like, yep, yep, yep. Nope, we don't. We ain't gonna lie to you. Nope, we don't. Big Rooster, we don't know. But he's trying to warn you. Everybody, please go over to Big Rooster's channel and support that brother because he's, he's telling, hey! He's telling us stuff that we need to know. Right, nope, exactly, nope. We don't know, Big Rooster, what you're saying. But I'm telling you something, he putting us up on game. He putting us up on game. The only reason I know as much as I know about computers because my wife is like that. She understands everything, Big Rooster. Big Rooster Show. Yeah, thank you, Unbiased. Thank you. It's the Big Rooster Show here on YouTube. Please go over to his channel. Please show that brother some love. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you, he putting you up on game, not that you won't, but you need. He putting you up on game that you need, not that you won't. I promise, man, because we are being left behind. This is the whole nother, a whole nother way of saying we don't want y'all to read and we don't want y'all to write. They ain't saying it with their mouth. They're not saying it with the laws. They're saying it if we keep moving technology faster. Hey, let, let her in the house. If they keep moving technology faster than we can learn it, we're illiterate. Everybody right now probably watching me got an iPhone or an iPad and don't know 98% of how to use it. I'm one of them. You have a smart device right now and have no idea what this thing is capable of.
and here we are today. We don't know. This is proof that this is proof that what I'm telling you is the truth. They're moving technology so fast, it's literally making us illiterate again. Well, we can't read and we can't write because you can't write. You, when I say you can't write, you don't know what to type in to make your device do what it's supposed to do. This thing can launch a, launch a damn uh, uh, space shuttle into the space with, with your damn phone. And you don't even know. If you knew the codes, you could do it. So imagine if you don't know how to use 95 percent, 98, I'm going to give it percent of your own smart device that you sleep with every day. Look, you, you in the bed, y'all be having a threesome, your wife or your husband next door. You got your phone here, too. I call it a threesome because you sleeping like this, holding on to it. Phone don't fail between y'all and everything. It get it gets sticky and weird and moist. Old moist ass phone in the middle of the night. You go to looking for it. That's a threesome. Look here. I mean what I'm saying. If you don't know, and you sleep with this thing. You take a dump with this thing. You take a shower with this thing. And you don't even know 98% of how it works. And that sounds like a lot of a lot of marriages out there too. Relationships. You've been living with the mother, uh, sleeping with the enemy. You've been living with the <laughs> for 20 years. You don't know who he is. All you know is his red lips be red when he come back home to the house. You be like, yeah, I know you cheat on me, but I keep on seeing red lipstick on your lips. Who is she? He finally be like, it ain't no who is she. He dig in his man purse and pull out his lipstick. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> I thought you was going to say Sabrina. Y'all been looking at each other funny. Yeah, I know. Because I've been, I've been using her lips. She been doing my hair. And she been, that's a whole nother story. But. I can't make this up. Keep on acting like tech not. Don't keep trying to catch up with it and watch what happened. I got this homeboy, my brother, my homie from back home. We just talked on the phone yesterday. And let me tell you something. He don't know nothing about social media. He don't know how to get online. He don't got no, well, he got a cell phone, like an Obama flip phone, a jitterbug. He don't get into Facebook, Instagram. He don't have a clue about nothing that goes on on social media. He don't know nothing about Tic Tac, YouTube, nothing. And when I was sitting there, you know what our conversation was all night? Was me catching him up to speed on realities of today. I'm, I said, bro, listen, listen, this, I can't make this up, man. You, you can go through life being ignorant if you want to. And I told him, I said, man, I can't believe you my friend, man. <laughs> I can't believe you my friend, man. You can't keep telling me you this stupid, bro. And he, he like, man, I just don't be caring. No, you can't not care. See, you can't not care. Be, I'm telling him about the dude. I was using some analogy and some example of the dude they caught. Um, they owned that island, okay? He owned the whole island. And he had people out there, very important people out there. And they trying to say he was dead. Long, long story short. He don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Every name and everything I said, I said, man, where you been? What? What's wrong with you, bro? I understand not wanting to have anything to do with social media. Please don't say that man's name. I, why you think I danced around that, my friend? Please don't say. I, they, ain't nobody going to win no prize by guessing that man's name. You, you. You hurting yourself. Listen, it's stuff. For instance, I don't I don't care about what's happening to P. Diddy. You good. You good, Nubian. I don't care about what's happening to P. Diddy. I don't care about what's going on with Cat Williams. I don't give two dams about Will Smith and his wife and their kids. I don't give a damn. But I pay attention. It's a reason for that.
See, I don't got to care. And I don't got to regurgitate what is going on with them. But I do have to pay attention because some of the downfalls that may happen to them will happen to me. See, it's a difference. I don't want to know. Listen here. For, same thing. My children. I don't want to know what they doing in their household. I don't want to know. Not, I don't want to hear about your marital situation. I don't want to hear about your love life. Nothing. But I, as a father, have to pay attention to some of this stuff. And that's the same thing in the world today. You don't got to care. But you better pay attention. You did. That's all I'm saying. So let me let me go on here, go on in here. I'm just telling everybody that um man, please learn some skills. I'm not playing. I don't care what they are. Let me let me hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, cut this light on. I'm in here doing laundry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. It got dark fast. But. We, you, you have to pay attention to the climate of everything. Listen, I don't care about these crazy politicians, but I pay attention. Because everything, you can't just go dig a hole and lay in it and pull the sand over your whole body and think it's going to go away. It's not. None of this is. If you don't have a skill set on how, how many people, how many people you, you purchased land or even if you didn't, if you got a house. But you don't know how to fix your own plumbing. You don't have the first clue how to fix your plumbing. Okay, some of that is highly skillful. I'm going to break this all the way down to the very last compound. If you have a home, if you own a home, you don't have to know how to do plumbing right off the bat. But you know one thing you better learn how to do? You better learn how to go shut off your main power. I mean, your main water line. Somewhere in your yard or on your land, there's a, a major shut off valve that shuts off the, all the water to your whole house. That is a must. I ain't saying you need to go up under here and replumb your whole house. You don't got to know how to do that. But damn, at least learn how to shut off the main water line. It's certain things nowadays you, you, okay, here you go. Here's one. Which over the last five years, I know, and I've, I've dealt with this a lot of time. When somebody come to your house to fix something and they start saying words that don't exist. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Can't make this up. Look at this. Y'all see that? <clears throat> Did you see that? A hole in my ceiling? If you saw that hole in my freaking ceiling, that's because we had some plumbers in here because I was preparing this house for sale and I had a leak and I didn't have time to fix it myself. My wife calls the plumbers. They busted holes all in the wall upstairs and uh, right here. Now, I know that's what plumbers got to do. That's not the problem. The problem is when you start lying. Oh, yeah, that's your uh, your functionality uh, manipulator. Mm-hmm. 
that's going to run, you know, the part. The part is going to run something like 4500 But I can get a discount because my uncle runs the business. Y'all all heard this bullshit before. My uncle owns the business that makes the manipulator. So, you know, I can get it for 45 and Usually it costs like $8,500. But I, for you, you know, since we're cool, you gave me a Coca-Cola and a honey bun. So, bullshit. And you go to looking on YouTube and you thumbing through the through the damn uh books and everything of what the hell is a damn fortified manipulator and how does that apply to plumbing? Come to find out there's no such damn thing. All he gonna do is cut that pipe up there that's leaking, re-glue it. Put an elbow on them boys and glue the other side. He going to patch that hole up in the ceiling and pretend, yeah, whoa. Hey, hey try the water, Mr. Mr. Led. Try the water. Oh, it's running hot now, ain't it? Huh? We took care of you. So sign here, 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 and here. You trying to get me and I, he don't know. My wife is my witness. God is my witness as well. I, I replumbed an entire trap house. <laughs> Remember that, babe? When I replumbed our house? Ah, he think I don't know. When people come in my house, they think I don't know what I'm doing. The only reason, fool, I let you in my house to do this because I don't feel like doing it. Don't play me for no fool, though, because I know how to do all of this. I've been doing all of this for over 35 years. I've never had people in my house to do jack. So when they keep coming to you, when you go to get your car looked at, oh, yeah, your uh, functional uh, poop pipe is... uh. It's leaking fumes, and that's what's making the car brake stop like that. So, eh, you know what? All you got to do is look on YouTube, look on look online, and look how many crooked salesmen is doing. You might go in for one thing, and then the next thing you know, you go in for a 1995 15-minute oil change. $19.95 for a 15-minute oil change. If we ain't done in 15 minutes, you would, we'll do it for free. They go one of there, and they it only take them 10 minutes to do the oil change, but then they turn around, and, oh, hey, man, your whole tire fell off. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I was just sitting here letting the oil drain off, you know, and your tire just kind of fell off. It screws all over the place. Man, learn how to work on your own car. I promise you this. Your air filter on your AC, all that, man. Learn, learn. You ain't got nothing else to do. Oh, okay, off-grid with Rashad. Say, I just paid $3,178.50 to get my power steering replaced. Oh, Replace after that my check engine light was on, no crew control or remote start. Let me tell you something. Bruh, I promise you that's exactly what I'm talking about. I, you know what? I really want a pickup truck. I do. I want another pickup truck, but I don't want no new. I like the new pickup trucks, but I'm scared of them. I'm scared of them. I love electric cars, but I'm kind of scared of them. Because I know, I know that if my Jeep Wrangler out there start acting up, I can open a book. Or look on YouTube or look online and be like, it's one of these problems. 
I like my OG Wrangler because when I go into AutoZone or Pep Boys, I can say, this is what my car is doing. I think it needs this part. He can pull it up on the computer and he spin that computer. Is that your part right there? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. These new cars, you ain't going to Pep Boys for nothing except for that little furry steering wheel wrap that you're going to put on your steering wheel. And, and, some, and some mud flaps to go down there on the floor. Ain't no reason for you to stop at Pep Boys, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, nothing. With one of these new cars, ain't nothing you can do. I literally fell in love with a uh, the I think it's the 2024 Chevy Silverado uh, EV. I fell in love with it. Ford F350 was my thing with the dualies, but that Chevy Silverado, the electric Chevy Silverado, man, I'm telling you, I, I had to go change my drawers after watching that. But when your boy opened up the hood and that was the trunk with all his luggage in it, <laughs> it just it, it just dawned on me like, man, uh, I don't, I wouldn't know. They did a test drive through the desert. And what if it break down? What if you run out of juice? You are effed. Ain't no, hey, do me a favor real quick. Hey, hey, bring me a, go stop at the gas station. I'm down here on I-20. Go stop at the gas station and give me like a, give me about a five, get that big gas can. Fill it up. Yeah, I'm out here, man. I'm stranded. Come on. Ain't no, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. None. If that thing go, if that thing cut off on you, it's off. O F T. <laughs> Oft. So it just scared me. That's what I was talking about. Technology just ain't, it ain't there yet. It's not, I want it. It's just not there enough for me to put my, my safety and my life on the line for it. Say a uh, hybrid is what Toyota makes for a reason. See, I get that there. Hey, uh, babe, every, uh, I'm biased. Say hey. Hey, everybody. Yeah, you still, why she still got on her clothes. Hey, she said, wait, let me check, man, make sure I got on some clothes. Yeah, I still got on some clothes. It's pajama to, time, ain't it? It's, it's about to be. It would have been, but she's she kind of stopped me for a second. I oh, hang geez. I hang on to it. I hang on to it. For some reason. Hey y'all. Hey game nerd mom. Look, we our family, we we getting rid of our last kid and, and adopted a dog. Tonight is prom night for Mr. Big Time Pimp. So, I know, he all grown up, all old, got a beard. So, look, y'all. Again, I don't want to keep y'all. It's Saturday night. Everything is all right. And I didn't want to come in here dumping on y'all about a whole bunch of, they coming to get us. It ain't that. It's just, man, every time I keep running into these situations, I just be like, man, I really, I really got to, uh. I really got to come in here and holler at y'all and just let you see what I'm going through because I know you're going through it too. It's certain things they don't sell in the stores anymore. Like you'll be looking for it forever and they don't sell it. I don't care if it's food, a type of food, a type of seasoning, nothing. It's, it's They just don't, they stopped selling certain things. Um, I'm going to have an empty nest. Um, I don't even know how to answer that. Are we going to be empty nesters? Yes, technically, in, in everybody else's sense. I'm, I'm happy. 
I'm 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 not one of them that mm -mm, I'm not one of them dads. It's not the dad. Huh? It's the moms. Yeah. I'ma keep you busy. You ain't gonna be you ain't gonna have time to be thinking about them going too much. You talking about some she the one gonna be sad. I'll keep you busy. It ain't about that. Oh yeah it is. I'ma keep your mind off of thinking about your kids is gone. Oh, I'll give you another one. You want another one? You want a fresh new start? We ain't too old for no kids. We just go from one crazy Damn, and she gonna growl at me. Thank you, cause she feels no, like, what is the puppy this? growled. I said I can get. I, we can have a new a new kid, and you ain't gonna be empty nested. She gonna growl at me like. She's like competition. Well, well, you better cut that. Em you better cut that empty nest talk, for we fill it full of eggs. You, I can make your emotions better. And all you got to do is say the words. If I catch one tear, I'm telling you, <laughs> you cry one time about these kids being gone. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to creep up on you. You ain't saying no words either, is you? I'm going to creep you. <laughs> you <laughs> take that little pack you're going to be taking is going to be some nibbled on, chewed down Tic Tacs. What? Yeah. You could be like, ooh, almost missed my pill. You sure did. You mm. How old I am. I don't care how old you still. I don't even think I need that. You do, hey, you young and fresh and vibrant. You still better take, you better <laughs> chew on them tablets. You keep talking about, I'm too old to have kids. Okay, stop taking them. Stop taking them, watch what happened. Now, obviously, <laughs> You be like, mmm, my pills taste like mint. They kind of minty fresh. Gotcha. Like, ooh, I I did want I did want that uh quesadilla you made me on the griddle, but my stomach don't feel good. Gotcha. Tell you, I'm telling you, man. That, hey, yeah, them placebos. Yeah, be eating on some Tic Tacs. He's like, mm, they done gave me another packet and it looked like somebody been tampering with. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Go on, take them. <laughs> Be some duct tape on the back of the, the, the foil. <laughs> Instead of the foil, I done popped them all, put Tic Tacs in them, put some duct tape back there. Like, uh, yeah, I accidentally dropped your pills and I kind of stepped on them a little bit, but I, I fixed it, so. Stop talking about the empty nest. I fill the nest back up. And I, I, I told her I kind of wanted that Brady Bunch effect way back then. I want I want kids. I used to want so many kids. I wanted them. Some painters, some lawyers, some doctors. I wanted them doing all kinds. I wanted them to be like them damn Oompa Loompers. <laughs> That's what I wanted to be Willy Wonka. I wanted Oompa Loompa kids. I wanted them little suckers everywhere. I want them falling out the trees and every. That's what kind of man. I wanted a lot of kids. I wanted to have so many kids that while they doing their house chores, they all be singing like them damn Oompa Loompers. I want a bunch of them. So if she going to give me another, another run at it, keep on with that empty nest business. I'll fix that for her. I'll fix it. Uh, yes. A whole, not five people say, oh, I want four kids. I won't say, I want Oompa Loompa. That's how many kids I want. <laughs> That's how many I wanted. I wanted them all to look alike, put on the same clothes. I wanted that many. She better, she better leave me alone. Tell you. So, yes, not, no, no, not a village. Nah, I didn't want a village. I wanted like a township. <laughs> you know, I wanted one the mayor, one is the police. I wanted like a Mayberry. I wanted, you know, that's what I wanted. I wanted so many kids that I don't know all their names. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanted, I wanted so many kids. I want to be like, uh. Oh, uh, um, 
What I tell you all? Hey, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Your brother? Yeah, Darren. Boy, that's how many kids I wanted. I didn't want to know none of their names. I just wanted to call them all boy, girl, dude. Ah, whatever we name you, that's that's the only time I'm going to call you. Hey, didn't I tell you to take that trash out of what's name? Hey, get what's name them, help him go out there and cut that grass. Them was all my kids. I wanted it to be to a point where I, I don't got to call nobody for nothing. Nothing. Call my own plumber kids. Yeah, I don't want to know. I probably would leave the birth certificate blank. So what are you going to name them? What's the name now? <laughs> All that birth certificate going to say, what's the name now? What you going to call it? What's the name now? Uh, that's what they name going to be. I ain't going to hold on to y'all. Plus, I'm starting to cut up. I didn't want to get into this with y'all. I'm just saying. Everybody, please get your skills set up. Please. We getting taken for a ride. And we don't even know it. The more you don't know how to do, the more money you got to spend on somebody else that don't know what the hell they doing. Oh, wait. Before I go. Before I go. Before I go. You will hire somebody to do a job for you and they don't know what the hell they doing. How about, hey, babe, with them plumbers, both of them standing in our kitchen looking up at the ceiling with their hands on their hips. And one of them had went upstairs and said, hey, Billy, you hear me? I, I Say it again. Can you hear me? I can almost hear you. Say it one more time. They looking at each other through this damn hole in my bathtub. Talking about Calgon. Yeah, oh, oh. Bad please, please explain this, honey. Please, because they ain't going to believe me. Okay. Oh, it started about the, the, the Epsom salt, the Dr. Tills. He saw my, he saw my bath salts up here. Please come and tell this. <laughs> All of it. it don't make well, no he never. Was just so excited. He saw her bath oil beads. What what is it, what is it called? Doctor Tills. Saw Doctor Tills. Huh. Now I got my house coat on. He want me to come over here. I didn't know. No, he he was just so excited about his the bath. He saw the bath sauce. We just got talking about baths. He was like, oh yeah. I used to get the cow gone, bath beads, and get me a good soak. Me and him was going back and forth about taking a bath. Wait. Now, look. I'm in the background. He was excited about his food. He was excited? He was excited. This is the plumber talking to my wife about, yeah, I had them, uh, you know, they used to have them, uh, uh, Olive Olay used to, Olive Olay used to make them bath oil beads. Oh, cow gone. Oh, cow gone. Cow gone. Ooh, them was the best. Uh, me and my wife, and I'm over here editing a video, and I just look up at this dude like, why are you in my living room talking to my wife about your long soaks? I think he wanted some of my socks. He did. <laughs> Listen, he wasn't hitting on my wife. He's just not. He's talking about himself. Oh, man. Uh, I'll take long. Boy, my backbone... Uh, it kills me. I get in that bath with the Dr. Tills and I'm looking over at him like. And I'm looking at the hole in the wall and I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the hole in the wall. I'm looking at him. I'm listening to his own boy. Billy. Billy, can you hear me? Hey, Billy. And he going on with my wife. My wife looking at him like, uh, I think your friend is calling you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But boy, that Dr. Teals. Oh, uh, yeah. Can, can you hear me? I'm not making up none of this. My life is a damn cartoon. I'm looking at this like I'm being punked. This is not real. These aren't real people. He just enjoy a good bath. He just enjoy a good bath. I, I wish he enjoyed my good bath so it can be working again. 
Get this. While these two idiots is sitting here yelling through a hole in the ceiling, looking at each other with one eyeball, this dawned on me. Why don't you sorry sacks of shit got no radios? It should be, can you hear me, Billy? Over. Uh, Randy, that's a 10-4, I hear you. Yeah, can you bring me up my pipe wrench is out there in the truck? Roger that. They are, am I lying, honey? They yelling at you, run out to the truck and get my pipe wrench. Look in the red box, not the big and the little one. And look, while he talking about some, can you believe the, can you believe the price of the, the bath oil bees these days? And you know, I didn't tell you about my, my, uh, what is that? The, the sorts, man, if you don't go help Billy, man, they didn't do nothing. So this was a unanimous decision from me and my wife said, I said, Hey, I told her I don't want them back in my house. She said, all right, took care of that. <laughs> she said, all right, took care of that with the bath oil bead, man. Don't let them back in the house. So I got a hole in my damn ceiling and it's not for style. It ain't like I, I, I slide down this damn hole and turn into a damn Batman. This is from some morons trying to tell me you need a manipulator and a functionality to... Man, I do it myself, man. I'm going to have a hole in the wall till I do it my damn self. I can't deal with people. You will hire somebody and pay an arm and a leg just for them not to know what the hell they doing. I had two damn nitwits in my garage hooking up my damn uh, solar power unit from EcoFlow. God is my witness. My wife was there. These two ding-dongs coming to the garage and they standing around with their hands on their hip. It was two of them. One is the, what is the apprentice. He ain't got no license. He ain't got no certification and everything. He keeps saying, hey, uh, what's this? Well, that's called conduit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did he just ask you what kind of it was? All I knew is I took the fire extinguisher from my kitchen and put it in the garage. Because one of you some bitches going to either burn my house up or catch on fire. And I want to be able to put y'all out before you burn up my whole house. Uh, what is this one again? Boy, he said conduit. Oh, this is the conduit. He taking advice from me. I got a video footage of all of it that I cannot release because their company name is on their shirts. I recorded all of it and I even put a damn camera in the garage because I can't believe it. But I did it for legal purposes because I'm like, man, these two dudes is too stupid, man. Hey, run in my truck real quick. I told this damn ding dong. I said, brother, man. Park your truck in my driveway because my driveway is so long. I said, man, you don't got to keep running up this hill, man, to go out to the truck because they come and they'll come in my garage to work on electricity with something like this. They don't got on no tool belts. They don't got on no work boots. They smell like the chronic. And he said, ah... Uh, Run to the truck real quick and grab me that Phillips. How about go run to the damn truck and bring your whole toolbox. Run to the truck and bring your whole toolbox. God as my witness, I don't play with that when I say that. Do you hear me? This fool come in and say, yeah, we're done for today. What did you do? I was late doing my damn video for EcoFlow because these damn pancake heads took damn two months to put it in. They took a one to two day full job from a licensed professional and stretched it out over 30 days, over 30 days. I was supposed to have that video before Christmas. I didn't have that video out until damn uh, after New Year's.
because of these two. Every day, man, if, I, if you watch the video, if I ever let anybody watch the video, I'm telling you, get some popcorn, go put your pajamas on, take your shoes off, and turn the volume up and watch this damn buffoonery. I'm just shaking my head like I can't. Nobody's ever going to believe any of this. None of it. Even the conduit. That's not a joke. That wasn't an exaggeration. He's the, I said, son, where did you go to school at? Well, I'm not in school yet. See, this was his, this was his thinking. I'm not in school yet. See, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to be the apprentice first. Oh, Lord of mercy. He says he's going to do his apprenticeship first. And, and then I'm going to just knock that out of the way. You know, that only takes a, I forget how many hours the apprenticeship is. And I'm going to do that first. And then I'm going to go to school to make school easier. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who's allowing this? How is this legal? I'm looking at him while he's telling me his strategy. While he's hooking up my high-powered electricity to my home. So you don't know what conduit is. You about to put my electricity. And I, I can't make this up either. A couple times. Oh, 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 don't touch that. Don't touch. The other dude kept saying, ah, oh, don't touch that. Don't touch this and that at the same time. Oh, Jesus. He had to, boy, move, man. Why stop standing there watching him do this, man? Dude, man, do this, man. He's a ho, 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 ho. Don't touch that and touch that at the same time. Make sure you, make sure you don't touch those two. And when you hear somebody tell you, you shouldn't touch both of them at the same time. And if somebody... Did he just told you? And he said, why? What will it do? Man, y'all get out of my house, man. Why? What will that do? If you touch both of them at the same time, you ain't going to have to worry about it. What it do. I ain't making none of this up and I got it all on videotape. Only reason I can't show you because they names is all over their shirt. And I don't want to incriminate myself nor anybody else unless something happened to my house. If something happened to my house, I'm going to pop pull that tape out for the jury. I can't make this up, man. It all sound fake. It all sound like some cartoons. I'm telling it sound like everything me and my wife just got done telling you comes from a Tom and Jerry cartoon. No, man, these is real life. These are real people. After 2019, everybody start hiring anybody to do anything and charge you whatever the hell they feel like charging you. Did you hear what I said? They hired anybody to do anything and turn around and charge you anything they feel like charging you. There is no. Let me see if it's still on my refrigerator. It. It's either, it's probably in my file cabinet. I got a receipt. I got a receipt uh, documented from this man that was coming to put, uh, chop some trees down here at this house. He got this whole itemized list, this paper that you know when you writing up a receipt, if you haven't work done on your house or your car, they write everything, itemized statement. That's what it is, itemized statement. Why does this cost this much, this part, this part, this part? Why is you charging me this, that? At the bottom, he just put how much it cost, the total, $4,000. I said, for what? All these lines you had to draw on, I need that for my taxes and I run a business. I need to know what's costing $4,000. I said, is your service $4,000? No, well, you know, we got the truck and we got the chainsaws and we got, I, I, I get all of that. Can you write that on them lines, man? Because I need that for my business. Oh, well, you, we don't, you don't need to do that. Yeah, 
I, I would like that if you didn't mind. Well, we don't usually do all of it, man. Never mind, man. I got that thing to this very day. I have my driveway expanded. I have my driveway expanded and I recorded that whole thing too. I just never uploaded that video. This man came with a crew that looked like red fire ants. It was so many of them doing my driveway. Had it done in a matter of hours. Hours. Level, cut up, everything. He had it done in a matter of hours. I wasn't done drinking my coffee. All the men, I thought I was being raided. I thought it was the FBI. About to bust it. Look, you got the wrong house. <coughs> he came to the door. And he said, uh, we're about to start the work. Is everything okay? I said, yeah, man. Uh, is all them with you? Yeah, that's my crew. All of them? <laughs> yeah, it's okay, right? Hell yeah. I'm just paying you though, right? He said, oh yeah, I take care of them. You don't worry about that. I take care of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. I came out, took a lot of video footage, and I can't listen. Nobody spoke no English, and I didn't care if they called me bad words. But listen to me. If you're going to call me a handful of bees and a pocket full of MFers, I don't really mind if you knocking out work like that. I don't mind. Them mugs poured out onto my land like red fire ants that you done kicked the heel over. You know what it is. You know how red fire ants, for people in the north, this is what red fire ants, red fire ants come out of their heel and they will literally cover whatever knock they heel over and turn it red, either from blood and stinging or the color of their bodies. Man, it was so many dudes out here knocked that out, man. I couldn't believe it. I can't make this up because I got it recorded. Whoever don't believe it. Them dudes. I didn't say nothing to them. I couldn't say nothing to them. Matter of fact, I asked the dude, hey man, you want some coffee? Yeah. That was it. I brought out a pot of coffee for them. They all, I kept the coffee coming. Nobody spoke English. It was a lot of this going on. This on the camera. It's a lot of this going on. That's it. I don't need to know what you saying, man. If you got my driveway looking like Thurston Howe the third, I ain't nothing to talk about. Your work, your work is speaking for you. We speak in the same language with that. Boy, they was on top of then come a little later on. Here come damn uh, Daffy Duck and them coming. <laughs> hey, Billy! Yo, the world. I'm looking for the DeLorean. I'm trying to get back to 1985. Please and thank you. I remember the days when you could pick up the phone, look in the yellow pages, and, oh, uh, okay. I'm calling Midnight Auto. That was our auto parts store back home. Yeah, I'm, yeah, hello? Hey, this is how they used to answer the phone. Brad, Midnight Auto. Hey, Brad, hey, hey, what's up, man? This lad, uh, hey, hey, buddy, hey. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, man, I need an alternator for a 1979 Chrysler LeBaron. Y'all got anything like that? Come on down, I'll hold it for you. I miss that, man. I miss that. They know who I was. They knew my name. They knew my voice. And the first thing they say is, come on down. I'll hold it for you. You cut you on your way now? Yeah, I'm on my way. I miss that, man. I miss it.
I don't miss. I don't want to regrow up. I don't want to go back in time so I can do everything all over again. I just miss that. I'm going to say this, and I'm, 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 I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Don't take this the wrong way, y'all. If I don't want to, I don't want to burn no bread on because I'm, I'm trying to choose my words very carefully. I don't want the grid to go down, but. I think the only way to bring back normalcy to society is for us to reel back a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want this to come across like I'm one of them people can't wait for the darkness. You know, that ain't it. I think we need to chill for a while. I think, I think... I think people need to know what it feels like to cook all your damn food on a wood stove for about 30 days. I think that people need to know cell phones. There should only be a landline phone. I'll need people to have a, only a landline phone. See what it feel like to only have a landline phone stuck in your house for 30 days. Look how, oh, I got, I got another one for you that's going to tear you up. I want everybody to have a Polaroid camera or the roll of film that only come with 20 pictures for 30 days. It ain't going to be no more than choo-choo, choo-choo, boo-boo. It ain't going to be no more wasting pictures and, and pictures just taking up data on your phone for no reason. When we used to have that roll of film that gave you 25 shots or you had 15 Polaroids, you didn't waste them on people. You didn't go to the party and say, hey, let's take a picture together. You look at them like, mm, you wearing that? Yeah. Nah. Nah, I ain't taking no picture with you. When I was in high school and you taking a picture with, with some friends, they was your real friends. Back in the 80s and the early, early 90s, if you want to know who your damn real friends was, you was invited in the picture. Them was your day ones. You don't waste no damn film on these these. People that you ain't quite sure about whether they're your friend or not, whether they're going to stab you on your damn back or not. Or be whispering behind your back. You didn't, um, you'd be like, hey, this is how you did this back in the 80s when you don't want nobody in your damn picture. You said, hey, uh, can you do, can you do us a favor? Can you take our picture? Hmm? Yeah, here. Because I don't want your ass in it. That was a nice way of saying not you. You dirty. Now every these days you can waste film, waste video, waste camera, waste all of this on on people that don't deserve it. And it, and it makes pictures and video less meaningful. You understand what I'm saying? Back in the 80s, I got photo albums to this day. And every time you see those photos, each and every one of those pictures, photos, Polaroids, had meaning so deep, you would drop to your knees and cry. Every single picture, because you didn't waste, even if you had a new baby, even if you had a newborn child, you didn't just be like, cheek, cheek, blip, blip, blip. No. What you do when you had a newborn back in the day? Hey, sit him up in a chair, put the pillow around him, yeah, and make him look, make him look like a little old man. Uh, go put on his good shoes, uh, put on his little jacket, the one that says San Francisco 49ers. And um, you didn't just take a whole bunch of damn baby pictures for no dang on reason. And you had to pay big money to go to Olin Mills for the family photo sitting on a damn haystack. All these black folks, they want, true story. They wanted my daddy to put on a damn uh, 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 straw cowboy hat. This is in the this is in the early 80s. 
No, no, it's not. Late 70s. They wanted my daddy. Listen to me. They wanted my daddy to put on a straw cowboy hat, put some straw in his mouth, put on a leather uh, vest and some cowboy boots. And he wanted the whole, they wanted the whole family to sit on some bales of hay with a wagon wheel behind it. My daddy cussed out <laughs> everybody in the studio. Now, remember, my dad, okay? I'm not saying nothing wrong with cowboys. I'm just saying my dad, though, it wasn't happening. He called everybody a fistful of MFers and a pocket full of bees until they got all them bales of hay up out of there, went rolled them wagon wheels out. He said, hey. Now, my goofy ass, I was happy. I had on that little leather thing and chewing on that straw. Spit that out. Spit that out your damn mouth. Get that out your mouth. Take that off. Everybody, pat your fro. Get your fro back together. This is some bullshit. <laughs> sitting here, tell me, sit, and sit on some damn hay. Remember, my dad, okay? And that was a true story. Those pictures, because see, if, if it was in today's time, you could take as many pictures as you want to. Back then, that photo counted. That photo was going to represent our family lineage for, from here to this very day to forever. Now, pictures don't have that meaning. So to me, I wish, again... I don't want the grid to go down, but I think we need to reel it in a couple damn notches and remember what things is worth. You know, sitting down talking with somebody, what is it worth? It's almost like they've made everything that was priceless meaningless. You understand? And I, I miss that. I miss those long conversations on the house phone and y'all only got one in the living room and one in the basement. So everything that you saying to your girlfriend, your mama sitting right across from you watching Dallas, uh, uh, J.R. Ewing, you can't say too much. So that cut out a lot of extra freaky stuff that was being said, you know, and if it was, it was like, Hey, hold on a minute. I'm going to run and get the phone in the basement by the washing machine. Uh, just hold on a second, right? Because I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next time I see you. You didn't just sit there. You couldn't. So the conversations was more meaningful. You wasn't just sitting there talk, telling people how you going to toss it up on them and stuff. No, y'all really talking about some real stuff. And I think that's what's missing in life right now. Ain't nobody talking to one another. You on the phone. Talking bullshit. I, I miss that. I, I, I don't miss the 70s. I don't miss the 80s. I don't miss the 90s. I miss the feeling of meaningfulness. That's what I miss. I miss when things meant something. I miss when a, a man told you and gave you his word, he meant that. You can rely on that. You can almost trust your life on it. I, re, I, I miss when somebody called you their friend, that's your damn friend. People didn't throw things around as lightly as they do today, right? Now, oh, that's my brother. That's my sister. They didn't say that back then, man. People didn't fake the funk. I don't like your ass, man. I don't. Man. That's what's the name, cousin. Ain't no hey, sister. Hey, sis. No. Nah, mm -mm. Who is that on your couch, girl? Oh, that's. She came with what's the name? <laughs> she came with Brenda, I guess. That's her Brenda friend. Not that you was dissing. It's just like we ain't cool like that. I remember my brother bringing home a girlfriend. And we had a special family dish that I'm not going to talk about that only my mother could make, right? And this new girlfriend come to the house. And she said, ooh, Miss Led, that 
that show smell good. Can I taste some of that? Everybody in the house said no. <laughs> No, you know, in certain dishes in everybody's house ain't for everybody. Everybody got their they own special recipe of something. Deviled eggs, barbecue, it's certain things. This ain't for the public. Even in my household now, it's certain things. I don't know for people. This is a family heirloom. This is family recipe, huh? That everything ain't for you. I don't need to go to the cookout and impress y'all with my devil there. You will never taste none. The only people going to taste this dish that I got, I got a whole recipe cookbook that I invented. And nobody but my wife and my daughter has ever seen it. My daughter still begged me to this day, can I get that book, Dad? No. Someday, when I when I gargle that, that death rattle, you, you can have it. No. That girl said, ooh, Miss Lay, that show smell good. Can I have some of that? No, you can't. Don't, don't give her none of that. That's for family. Once he puts a ring on your finger and y'all be together for about a good year, have a couple anniversaries, we'll let you taste. You don't, you have not qualified for this, this dish here. You can have a macaroni and cheese. You can get some of that, man. You can get some of that cornbread. You can't have this, though. And that, you don't see that that, that much no more. Because people, the meaning, the meaningfulness of certain things is just washed away. I'm not going to keep y'all because I'll go on and on. Because I this these memories and stories is flooding through my head. I'm going to save that. Hey, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me. And please be careful. Learn a skill. and Stop letting people wander up in your house. Oh! Before I go. <laughs> before I go. Before I go. Not only would they trick you. Come up in your house. And mess your plumbing and stuff up. You don't know who coming in your house. And casing your house. You don't know who coming in your house. And looking around like. Some of these folks. Come into your house. And you can sit here and see. They hurting for money. And you got your mama's crystal uh, candy bowl on the table. And you got some heirlooms hanging around. And. Mm -mm. You got a vintage shotgun on the wall, some vintage swords and stuff, a vase in there that your great, 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 great grandmama gave y'all passed down to the point you don't, it's so expensive you don't know how much it's worth because you don't trust nobody to go get it appraised. But you letting people in your house because you too lazy to go on there and fix your own pipe. Mm, ain't going to do it. You know how many times I done canceled appointments my wife a scheduled appointment. Ah, uh, uh, don't let them come over today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. Why? What's wrong? Uh, uh. Mm -mm. I got all that stuff sitting in the living room. Just got delivered. No. Nope. Mm -mm. No. No, ma'am. Uh, uh. Not today. Rescheduled. But they said they ain't gonna be back for another month. I don't care. They ain't gonna finish it no way. They gonna say they gotta come back in a month anyway. So no. They, they'll be in your house casing your stuff. See, things that you don't think is important anymore, or you just look past like some just little normal appliances that you don't think about. They looking at it like payday. All day. Oh, my wife wanted one of them. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas to us. So I'm just saying there's some other things to think about before you keep on letting people in your house doing stuff. You letting people detail the inside of your car and then you be like, I'm missing about $400. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got to put it into perspective. Honor is gone. Honor at your job is gone. So all you got now is people that need money. And when you got people that need money, 
desperation come and you tempting them, you just left a whole doggone twenty dollar bill on your council. Go ahead and keep on tempting faith. It ain't sometimes that they want to. Sometimes they be like, "Man, I really need this twenty dollars." I know even after work today, I ain't got enough money to get no milk for the baby. I ain't got no damn diapers, no Similac. Baby need to go to a doctor's appointment. And that twenty dollars is like, man, that'll solve their problems. And hell, if they the twenty dollars won't solve all of them problems, be like twenty dollars is be a decent sack, so I can forget all of those problems. <laughs> okay, let's let's remember something. Sometimes it ain't the honor, and they be like, man, I just want to buy some some milk for my baby and go buy some Pampers. Maybe I got so many problems. I just need to spend that twenty dollars on a nice sack to make me forget about all of them problems. So either way, you tempting fate. You tempting fate, man. I just it it's just me because I don't be trusting people no more. I'm I'm getting old and paranoid. I get it, but I take that because this this world that we live in right now, I don't know where we are, man. I don't know where we are. When, when I was a kid, I, I imagined, I dreamed of flying cars and jetpacks on our back. I, I see you later, mom. I'm going to school. I dreamed of stuff like that. I, never in my wildest dreams did I dream of any of this. This is, this, man, the, the furthest we could think back there is, has something to do with flying, right? Automated vacuum cleaners and stuff like that. That's as far as we could think. But now we've surpassed that right into the crapper. I don't know, man. I don't, I wake up every day. I pray to God, kiss my wife, check my bank account, and then I look out the window and try to figure out where I am. If I'm, I ain't going to talk about that place. If I'm somewhere else and I wake up somewhere else, I look out the window and just wonder, where am I? I don't, I, I did not ask to be here. This, sometime I think this is like a, oh, you know how they get sucked up by them aliens. People get sucked up by them spaceships and then they let them out 20 years later, buck naked on the side of the road with no memory or recollection of what happened. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel like I was out fishing in about 19... 94, I went out fishing with my homie, and they uh, spit me out buck naked on the side of I-20. And I don't got no recollection of none of this. Like, what? where am I? Who is this? What is this? I walk around on a daily basis. Okay, I'm going to let y'all answer this. Is it my age? Or either say me too or say old age. I walk around all day doing this. Remember Rudy from the Cosby Kids? He walked and all he did was like this. He kept leaning, but his head never stopped shaking the head no. I walk around. So is it is it my old age or is it y'all too? I walk around like this. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Look at this here. I talk to myself like I got a crowd of a, a paparazzi around me and I'm answering questions from the paparazzi. I'll be talking to myself like, good Lord, no, I don't believe that's going to work out for it. Oh, good God. Oh, that's a dude. Oh, 
I didn't need to see them nuts. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Mm, mm. Poor baby. Look, at nobody ain't got no clothes on this child. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hey, ma'am, your kid over here pull a cereal off. Oh. I walk around. I, I can't leave this house. Soon as I leave out the front door, it just starts. I thought I had to go get checked out from the doctor because I thought I was getting one of them them uh nervous disease. Mm, mm, mm. God. Mm. Look at this. I go to the doctor and the doc, doc, doc say, oh, so what are we seeing you for today? I said, Doc, every time I come out the house, I can't stop doing this. Oh, that's serious. That's serious. Uh, let me look at you. Okay. Left eye, okay, right eye, okay, nothing. Uh, doesn't look anything, ran some tests, everything looks good, Mr. Mr. Led. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Well, man, I, you know, it ain't doing it right now, but usually when I go outside, I can't stop shaking my head like this. Oh, well, everything looks good, the tests look good. Just, I tell you what, uh, go up to the front desk and they're gonna bill you, and then just call me if this happens again. Soon as I get to the front desk and they give me the bill, okay, and that's going to be your visit today is five hundred ninety-seven dollars. Um, after your insurance, oh, oh no, you ain't. <laughs> there it go again. Call the doctor. Mm mm. There it go. It just got to acting up. It just got to acting up. It just flared up. I don't know what. I saw an allergic reaction or something. Right there. Oh. Uh -uh. Somebody call the doctor, call the paramedics, because it's, it's bad right now. I can't, I can't even make it stop this time. Shit. What was, what was it again, ma'am? 594. Oh, Lord of mercy. Uh-uh. No, it ain't. And he ain't tell me nothing was wrong. You supposed to pay that when something is wrong. <laughs> he said nothing is wrong, ma'am. Uh-uh. I ain't going to do that with you. I leave out the house shaking my head, man, like that. Everything I see just make me sad, man. <laughs> you, you ever feel that way? And I'm a happy-go-lucky dude. But everywhere I go and everything I see and every people I meet, I just shake my head like, damn. I try not to do... I'm trying to stop doing so much cursing so much, right? But boy, this world, boy, just bring out the worst in you. Be like, damn, look at this man right here. Have you ever seen something so ridiculous? You, you, you the only one in the store. You ain't with no friends. Have you ever looked at something so stupid? You look at people you don't know like, hey, you see this? Look at this. Good God Almighty. Mm, mm. You make friends in the grocery store like that. Because you so bedazzled by the madness. You would just look around like making sure like is it? It's a, I need some witnesses. Anybody else see this? Hey, hey, hey. You see that? You don't even know this person. You see this? Look at this. Lord have mercy. God. That's where I am. I can't take this this world. I can't take it. Shit. It, anyway, let me get over here. Everybody, it, we, all I can say is, it's going to be okay. It's going to, we going to be all right. We going to be all right. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Live Farmer 73. I'm leaving for real this time. I love you. And I'm out. I love you and I'm out, but I, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Peace. I don't know whether to be scared of, of all the stuff going on. Happy was everything going on. Should I be preparing? Should I be hiding? Should I just be just throw all to the wind? And Everybody have a wonderful night. 
guava. Hey, granny girls. Everybody have a wonderful night. Live from 73. I love you. And I'm out. Peace.